The standard treatments right now for patients with higher risk disease, if they are transplant candidates, uh, is an allogeneic stem cell transplant. That's the only thing that offers the possibility of cure. For patients with higher risk disease who are not, that's where the hypomethylating agents azacitidine and decitabine come in. For the lower risk patients, if the serum erythropoietin level is less than 500, uh, epotent alpha or darbopotin can be helpful. If deletion of chromosome 5q is present, lenalidomide can be useful. Other patients who don't meet those criteria, we don't know what the best therapy is. Some patients are treated with hypomethylating agents, others receive immunosuppressive therapy. That's a group for which clinical trials are very important. With respect to targeted therapy, we know now that TET2 mutations predict a higher likelihood of response to azacitidine or decitabine, whereas ASXL mutations predict a lower response. We know that patients who have a P53 mutation do terribly with reduced intensity conditioning transplant and probably should not be considered for transplant unless they're part of a clinical trial of a novel approach. Um, we hopefully will have a signature that's going to help predict response to lenalidomide in the non-DEL5Q patients, but we don't have that yet. But there's a lot of work going on to try to predict that. And then there are several new drugs that are being developed that are genotype dependent. So for instance, IDH inhibitors AG221 and AG120 are only effective if patients have IDH2 or IDH1 mutations. There is a drug called loose Patercept, which seems to be most effective in anemic patients with SF3B1 mutations. So increasingly we're learning about genes that may help predict response. However, I should say that right now, the response versus non-response with hypomethylating agents for TET2 mutation isn't enough of a difference that you would deny somebody who didn't have the mutation access to the drug because they still have a decent chance of responding.